Hey everybody, Richard here, another devlog. This week I worked on some multiplayer, syncing up a new enemy in multiplayer, and then some art updates. You can see down there some of the new grass that's not textured yet, that's why it's all white. But this week, instead of showing a lot of that off, which I'm going to save for next week and when I can uh, hop in with Steph or somebody else to show some of the multiplayer stuff, I was just going to chat a bit about game development and what I think is very interesting about game development. And I'll eventually come back up where I just was to show the enemy, pull it all together. But instead of just standing and doing nothing, I thought I could walk around while I chatted. So, uh, you know, there's this concept in games called um, feel or friction well no not friction uh polish oh, what was that juice uh and it's just a feeling of a game and i'm always fascinated that when you have it like you know it as soon as you have it and when you don't i think it's really hard to get there um with you know some part of a game that you're adding in so like this grass, I think it works. I know it works for a number of reasons um, immediately. Like it doesn't have the, the art yet, um, but it adds out to the world. It adds uh, the ability to kind of hide edges. It's got some nice stuff. I wouldn't really call that juice, but I guess I just brought that up um, as like, you know, kind of immediately knowing it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to do its job. When things are interactive, See what's going on there how oh, how did i hurt myself there okay i need to figure that out but um when things are interactive there's just there's just this feeling when you know it works uh so i've rambled i'm just going to show this enemy there's nothing impressive about this enemy like it's a it's a white sphere <laughs> and uh or an oblong uh, shape it's not a sphere it's an oval shape uh, it goes from one solid color to another solid color. Uh, it's very, very simple. But sometimes I build something and I just know it's going to be cool later. And it's actually why I am really big in game development on getting any idea out there in prototype form as fast as possible. Because a lot of times you'll find out whether it's going to work. And if it's not interesting at all, sometimes you can put a lot of effort into it and you can make it interesting. But you, what you really want is those things that with none of the, the polish, the juice, the added elements to it, like it's already got something there. You want those things because then you know as you keep building, they just keep getting better. So before I show the enemy, I guess one that... Um, staff and and other people that friends that have tried out the game really like is the charge feature they just feel like it feels good the charge is nice the effect is nice and that's great because like this is a placeholder effect this isn't what i eventually you know imagine it to be there's no haptics there's no animation as it fires back but the fact that we're already at this point makes me feel like the charge is going to definitely be a really nice feeling effect in the game and so that's what I'm always looking for. Can we get it to where people are saying good things about it now before all those bells and whistles are added in? Because those take time and you don't want to do them if it's not going to end up really making a difference. So again, this enemy is not, uh, is not going to win. It's probably not going to be impressive on a video. But uh, I'm really excited because this is something that I think will add to the game. So like, it's, okay, it's just a simple sphere out there um let me can see if i can peek around the corner you'll probably see me pretty soon but it has it, it detects you when you're close makes a sound and then it just comes at you and uh you know kind of with all the interest you know like that's not that interesting but when you're playing a game you don't know it's coming um i've already with the prototype been surprised and i'm over time freaked out uh, so yeah i think it's going to be really interesting because if it's if it's fun now well, then adding in more, more audio, sounds, animations, uh, 3D art, all that um, particle effects is just going to make it better. And yeah, this plaster is cool. Um, I'm just going to shoot off some. Oh, 
I saw the terrain. Yeah, I guess so. Another idea there, you know, with the train, um, you know, I'm always interested as soon as we get off the demo, which I've been talking about for so long. It, it ultimately depends on what um, players are saying. I mean, it ultimately depends on it. It's, um, it's important to me, and I think anybody in game development that wants a game that people enjoy to not just have it be something we're satisfied with. We need to be satisfied with, but we need to know way that that translates to when other people play it, they enjoy it. With uh, Terrain, um, you know, I'm interested in feedback, but for me, I find it very satisfying. And I know that there's added elements that will eventually get in there. Like the fact that when you destroy the terrain, and actually the code's there, it just needs to be turned back on, but there's some things to... Uh, I want to avoid doing too quickly. And that's why it's been turned back on. Um, that some, you know, debris and stuff comes out. So it makes it feel like there's chunks falling away. But if it's already satisfying, then I know that once those ad added elements are put in there, it's just going to make it all the better. So this week, I guess, was just a bit of a chat about my concepts on game development and how to know when things work, which is, you know, when you see it, and I don't know how to know before I put it in VR and try it out, whether it's going to work or not. So thanks for watching. See you next week.